Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to connect a domain name that was registered at an external provider to our Wix website. First of all, if you want to connect your domain name to your Wix website, uh, you need to upgrade your account to a premium package. So you need to purchase one of, one of Wix's uh, premium plans. Once you've done that, you can uh, connect your domain name. In my case, my domain name was registered at DreamHost, which is a third-party domain and web hosting company. But it doesn't really matter where your domain name is registered because the process is pretty much the same. I don't like to buy domain name through Wix because although it's free for the first year, they tend to charge a lot more afterwards. So in the end, you will end up paying more for your domain name than at a regular uh, domain company. Okay, um, I'm here logged into my Wix account and, uh, and you've probably noticed that we have an option to connect our domain name. Right now, I don't have any domain name connected to my site. So let's click connect domain and let's see what happens. Okay, so Wix redirects us to its domain menu. And here we have two options. We can either buy a new domain name through Wix, which I already mentioned that I don't like to do, or we can connect our domain name that we already own. And this is the option I'm going to choose. Here you have to add your domain name. And we can choose the uh, connection method. The best method is leaving it on DNS because we will be connecting our domain name by changing the default name servers. Let's click next. Wix uh, tries to find your domain provider and it gives you some instructions uh, what to do. Okay, so here you can see that Wix was able to determine my current name servers and it says that we need to log into our domain provider which in my case is DreamHost. I'm already logged in in this other tab and um, you need to find your domain uh, name servers settings. It doesn't really matter which is your provider, you will, you will have something like this. You need to look for something like uh, DNS uh, settings, name servers, uh, or something like this. In my case, it's under domains and manage domains. And here I have this DNS option here. And if I click on it, I can see the three name servers that Wix just uh, identified for me. And these are the name servers that I have to change to Wix's own name servers. Wix only have these two name servers, so I won't uh, need the third name server here. Okay, so let's uh, copy it. And let's remove the third one. Okay, all I need to do is click on this button. It's saved and it says it will take up 30 minutes for the change to be made. Usually it takes only a couple of minutes, but, but it may take longer. Okay, if I go back to Wix, the third instruction is to verify the domain connection. Uh, if you click on Verify Connection, Wix will try to check the name servers if they are updated. Let's try it. It may take a while. And the domain name is connected. Oh, by the way, for those who don't know what name servers are, uh, I guess I should have mentioned this earlier, but uh, here you go. They are sometimes also called DNS servers. The name servers turn your domain name into an IP address. That's how web browsers will find your website. 
if we didn't have name servers, we would have to memorize websites by IP addresses and that would be a, a pain in the butt. So if your domain is hosted elsewhere, just find a DNS or name server setting similar to, um, to what I just did. Okay, so the domain is connected. Let's go to my domains. And now the domain name that I just added shows up here under the my, my domains option. Okay, if I go to the editor, uh, because my website is not published yet, so it's, it's not available. And if I click publish, Okay, so if I clicked view website, then my new Wix website should uh, uh, open up, but it probably won't because uh, here it say that it can take up to 48 hours for your domain connection to go live worldwide. So you may need to wait uh, uh, a little until your uh, website will be available. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any question, just write uh, a comment below. Bye.